Doctorow. Uh, I'm back at the UCLA uh, uh, Law School uh, for the second day of the DMC 1201 hearings, and we've just heard a procedure uh, or a hearing on, on a, a possible exemption to expand fair use, and, and with me are the people who argue for it. I wonder if you can introduce yourselves, and uh, maybe one of you can talk about what the exemption you were asking for was. Well, I'm Jack Lerner. I'm a professor at UC Irvine Law School, and I direct the UCI Intellectual Property Arts and Technology Clinic. And we were here on behalf of documentary and non-documentary independent filmmakers, as well as multimedia ebook e authors. Um, I'm Betsy Rosenblatt. I'm a law professor. I teach at Whittier Law School and direct the Center for Intellectual Property Law there. And I'm also the legal chair for the Organization for Transformative Works. And I'd like to say it wasn't a hearing to expand fair use. It was a hearing to, uh, to decrease restrictions on fair use. That's well said. I accept your friendly <laughs> amendment. <Thank you. laughs> These are things that people have a right to do, and we're just taking away that technological limitation on Yeah, and the way I describe the DMCA, and th there's many parts of the DMCA, but this part is Section 1201 makes it illegal to rip from DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, and the issue with that, and why we're here today, is because it's legal to use the material. You can make fair use of that material, you just can't access it, because the act of ripping from DVD or Blu-ray is illegal and for my clients who are documentary filmmakers they have LLCs that can actually be a crime. It makes so much sense to criminalize <laughs> how you get it but not what you do with once you've got it. I'm Tisha Turk, I'm a professor of English so I get to be the non-lawyer in the room. Uh, at the University of Minnesota at Morris I'm also a member of the Organization for Transformative Works and I am a fan vitter so I'm here representing video remix artists. Hi, I'm Art Neal. I'm the executive director of New Media Rights. Uh, we're actually based at California Western School of Law, where I teach a legal clinic all related to cyber law. And the exemption that we were here arguing for, because there's a couple of, of good positive exemptions, trying to allow more already legal uses. Um, and, and our exemption was to try to streamline language. Right now, that's about 800 words, where you have to figure out, am I making a documentary or not? Am, is what I'm doing non-commercial or not? Am I the right kind of educator? Am I talking about film and media studies, or am I, am I possibly talking about something that is, is not quite film and media studies? And so we were trying to uh, streamline and make the exemption more accessible. 